The big surprise about the cockpit of the future is there's nothing there. One of the things we're looking at for Tempest is a software reconfigurable wearable cockpit, um, the essence of which is in our Striker helmet. Okay. So this is a Striker 2 helmet that's yeah. currently in test flight on Typhoon. Just want to pop that on. But now as you put that on, you should see in front of you mm. your actual displays. Yeah. You no, can just be able to impressive. see the outside world. You can still see me, you can still see through it, so you will be able to see the real world mm -hmm. outside you, but we can overlay a lot more information on top of it. Yeah. So information that would be traditionally shown on displays here, we can actually put outside. Because you're in the virtual world, everything's potentially display space. Mm -hmm. So if you look up above your head, for example, at the moment, you should see another display there. Mm. So it's up to you as the pilot how you set up the cockpit for what task you're doing that day. Yeah, and I can actually, if I look up and put my hand there, my hand appears as well. So it does have that real virtual experience. So okay, press that and then press invisible. And now look down. Now it's taking the cockpit away, so you can see underneath you. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It, you almost don't believe that it's going to click or, yeah. or that anything's going to happen when you... Because I am just yeah. pointing into thin air. And initially people are quite sceptical. What would you do if the helmet fails? I'm going to need some real buttons, etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you start talking to them and you get into the mind frame of Tempest is like an aircraft for 2035, what we're trying to do is stop the cockpit getting too cluttered, trying to keep it as clean and as easy to upgrade as possible. Yeah. As soon as you start to put buttons in, people will start to want to use them. So at the moment, we're very much trying to take the angle of prove to me it needs to be in there for a safety reason or for something like that. Otherwise, the idea is it would all be virtual. So that's what they're thinking and why. How will that work for the pilot? So what we have is the future cockpit and I'm looking at it in a virtual reality environment. And one of the biggest features we're looking at is eye tracking. So what that allows us to do is rather than have multiple interfaces per display, we can mm. have one set of controls and operate multiple displays with that. So I can look at a image and wherever I look, I can zoom in and out on that specific part very quickly, very intuitively without moving a cursor around. Mm -hmm. I can look at different buttons inside the cockpit and activate them. And I can do all this without moving my head, just with my eyes. So other than the eye tracking, we also have the ability to put our interfaces outside the cockpit. So using hand tracking, I can actually move the UI from down below up to anywhere. We also have the ability to put our UI or the controls onto our hands. So as you can see, I can bring screens from my arm. But I can also look at my watch and get my physical state. So I can see my, my heart rate, I can see the time. I might be able to get my blood sugar levels and the ability to monitor my own health status. And you can actually see your hand. I mean, does that work if, if I put my hand in, would that show up? You should do, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. And I get a watch as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you should see a wand coming out of your finger, your index finger. So oh, I see, yeah. What our human factors team have looked at is the idea of extending the ability to look into the environment with your, with your index finger. So now I can keep my hands nice and low, like you are, and yeah. actually point at the, the screen. To, to select stuff. So what we can see here is a, a hologram that we've turned on. Now we're used to traditional flat interfaces. Here we're actually made to, able to make a 3D interface. You can see I can see where I am with the white focus and I'm able to see my other aircraft around me. I can see my fleet of UAVs ahead of me and I can look over to the coast, see some ships and get a sense of um, 3D depth now, I can look at these MES domes that we call the missile engagement zones and mm. see that are actually real 3D objects floating in front of me. So there's nothing out of reach for a future pilot now in terms of having all the information and being able to see everything. Absolutely, it's got a hundred times more challenging because we've got so many more capabilities we can develop for, mm. um, but at the same time so many more opportunities for the pilot to make things so much better for them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.